and greetings. Today we have a request from Mr. Tony Pinkett Smith. Thank you, Tony. Always great to hear from you. Uh, no relation to my friend's cat. I had a friend with a cat named Tony who writes, his emails are always good. Ryan, thanks for the most excellent Joker and the Thief lesson. Since learning that song, I've not been afraid to turn any amp at Guitar Center all the way up and play that sweet melody. The intro really turns heads. I realize that this band and era in general are not your thing, not your bag. Not your bag of hammers, not your bowl of anchovies, but I've been struggling to progress on the guitar lately and have narrowed down my issue to one of two things. It's either all of the frets or all of the strings. In an effort to eliminate the strings, I am requesting She Sells Sanctuary by the Cult. And also for Kara in Canada and also, also for Kara's auntie in Calgary. Let's do it. But before we get to the part, the parts parts of this song, let's talk about uh, the basic structure. If you wanted to campfire this, the whole entire thing is just D, C, G, and that's it. Now looking at that, it looks like it's in the key of D, but it's not. Check out the D major scale. D, E, F sharp, G, there's a G, not, not disagreeing yet. A, B, C sharp, D. There was no C. There was a C sharp and there was a B, but there was no C. So our song cannot be in the key of D. On the other hand, check out the G major scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. It had D, it had C, and it had G in it, of course. So now we are playing sort of starting and ending on D, but using the G major scale, and that is called playing in a mode. We're playing in the D mode of the G scale, so to speak, and it has a fancy name. We're playing in D Mixolydian, so uh, use that at a party. But you'll see also in our in our riffs, it's going to have the open D string droning out underneath the note that's moving, and we're using the G major scale as well. So now let's do the parts parts. Okay, for the intro, we're going to have open D and G string 14th fret, and you're going to kind of pluck the D string, then the G string. 12, 11, 7. from five to seven on the G string. I kind of strummed both there. Um, and then D, G, down to G2, so. And the second half of that is 14, 12, 16, 14, and then you do your three hammer-ons from 12 to 14. And then that high note, it's a D note. Solidian. That's the 15th fret of the B string, and that, that's the intro. And then the main part kicks in, the signature thing. So like I said, you could go D, C, G, and that's what the bass player is playing. Um, that's what the rhythm, you hear that one acoustic guitar just chime in for the G, so you could do that, but the riff, which is I'm sure what you're after, is much like the thing we were just doing, and we're gonna go 14, 12, 11, 12, 11, 7, 7, 5, 7, 2, 12, 11, 7, 7, 2 times, so. Except less sloppy. Same progression, again, D, D, C, G, but the, uh, I don't have an ant named D, D. Um, yeah, but the guitar is going for D, seventh fret of the G string and open D string, so. Down two frets for C, right? And then for G, you're gonna go up to the 12th fret of the G string. And you can kind of play around with the 11th fret and the 12th fret up there if you like, so. D mixolydian, the D string ringing out. That's what that's what that means. Not so complex, but uh, hard to kind of get your mind around why. But we're totally going to talk about that in our 
let's learn music theory video. So don't, don't worry, I'm gonna, yep, next part. And then for the thing in between the two things, which is the higher noodleies now, we're gonna start on G14 again. <laughs> back to 14 and then down to 12 down to 11 and then walking back up to 14 for the second half little stop at 12 so and the second one is 14 stop back up at 12 just like the last I'm gonna do that better here just like the last time on the way back up to 14 but we're going into the the verse next so I guess we're going down anyways but like it would be going up to 14 if it was but it's not <laughs> strikes me that when he's singing in the world in the world in the world that uh, it's a little heavier on on the guitar so it could be the power chords D 10th fret C 8th fret you go down to G but like I said the whole thing's the same progression so the, the everything about the entire song fits with every single part so you can kind of do what you like there and then there's the chill intro but in the middle and chiller which is the exact same as the intro Except in the middle and chiller. But the thing that you can add to that, which the band does and I think is pretty cool, it's like you're playing a D7, but skip the baby E string, so we want open D, G2, B1, to regular would be D if we were dealing with the baby E string there. So the B string goes 1, 1, 3, and then pluck your G string, but then it's kind of hard to get back up to do the second half of the chill intro, which again is the same as the intro the first time. Yeah, you can't do both, but I like that. Then there's that repetitive lead part, which is 14 on G, 12 on G, and 11 on G, with that open D string again ringing out the whole time. when the band hits G. You can hit G like, like that if you want, or you could go, which is I think what the lead guitar does there, 12th fret of the G string. Or, that's certainly more epic. And that's it. Now we've done some cult. I'm sure we'll do more cult, so, uh, I'll go ahead and make a playlist for that. Yeah, but cult, funny word, because just put out of your mind the band now, because we've got a positive association, right? But cult, usually the way it's used, but uh, also in the word culture, which is a nice word. Cult, bad word, culture, nice word. I thought of another one. I know Sloth will like this. Um, encourage, never thought of that word as E-N, courage, to fill with courage. That's what you're doing. Anyways, look at, let's look at that. D mixolydian scale, so uh, you can sort of see what it sounds like. Let's start at uh, let's start at D here on the. We're gonna have the D string ringing out, and the G string seventh fret. That's a D note. We're gonna go up the G major scale, but starting at D and ending at D rather than starting at G and ending on G. Right, do re mi fa so la ti do. That's known as Ionian. That's the fa the fancy name for for the regular old thing that we always do. So here it is, D, E, F sharp, G, you're gonna hear one that doesn't quite fit. A, B, C, and D. It was that C that didn't really fit. That is not in the D major scale, it's in a D7 chord, but the note that makes chords seven chords aren't in their major scale. One more time, thinking compared to Do, Re, Mi. to say about this. This is the right notes, right? D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. G major scale, D to D. Yep. Cool. I hope that was helpful. Tony, thanks again. Kara, say hello to your auntie in Calgary for me. Everybody else, thank you so much for being here. 
I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. I just noticed the man who sold the world, right? It's not the right key, but uh... Oh no, that's a Mixolydian scale. All right, bye for real.